What's up, everybody? Um, welcome to the Chris Thorne Show. What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Chris Storms. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching my content. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Ladies and gentlemen, I ain't been on doing no videos in a minute. Well, I've been putting up little short videos, messing around with the Adobe effects. And man, I've been having fun um, dealing with the app. But really, the reason I didn't have no videos on no live streams is because I've been sick on and off. And, um, you know, I'm really 100% right now. But I'm well enough to... Um, do this video and uh you can say this is somewhat of an update video that i did earlier this year and y'all might hear some fireworks stuff in the background because uh it's june and 19th well juneteenth so I, I guess that's why they popping fireworks i keep forgetting about this juneteenth or whatnot but anyway people popping fireworks outside and um you know hey you know it is what it is people celebrate how they celebrate but anyway, though, I want to bring something to your attention. Do y'all remember this young lady right here? I did a story on this young lady back in January. I thought it was last year. Actually, it was earlier this year in January that I did a story on this young lady right here. Uh, her name is Tia Carey. Um, and as, as y'all remember, I'm going to play y'all a new clip in a minute for the people who probably don't remember this story to refresh your memory of what this story is about. But there's a reason why I'm doing this update. And as a matter of fact, uh, speaking of which, let me play the news clip right now. So y'all can have a little refresher about uh, what was this story about. And then it turned physical. A woman pulls out a gun and shoots. Tia Carey, a young mother of two, was shot dead yesterday at a Valero gas station on Minnesota Avenue. Today, Carrie's mother spoke with News 4's Pat Collins about how devastating this is for their family. Pat? Wendy, a case murder can have more than one victim. Sometimes it impacts little people too young to realize the loss. Hear now the story of Tia Carey. The murder victim, Tia Carey, shot and killed during a dispute at a D.C. gas station. She was the mother of two girls, a five-year-old and a two-month-old baby. Mm. Demaris Carey is Tia's mom. She's comforting and caring for those children now. And today, she talked about her daughter's death. Every time I look at her, I see her. She was only 21, so young. She didn't even get to see her baby grow up. Witnesses tell the story this way. The scene, this Valero gas station on Minnesota Avenue. Tia had just picked up her daughter from school. She stopped here to get a fruit drink. Here she got into an argument with another woman, and it got physical. There were pushes and punches, and then they say that woman pulled a gun and fired off two shots. One of the bullets struck Tia in the head. She fell to the ground. She was taken to the hospital. She died a short time later. Senseless violence. That's all I can sum it up to, senseless, senseless violence. I mean, you know, we encounter things every day, situations, but this was just an act of sense of violence. Charged with second degree murder in the case, 21 year old Tierra Posey. Witnesses say they literally had to sit on top of her to keep mm. her from leaving the murder scene. Mm. Jim and Wendy, back to you. All right, Pat Collins reporting live for us. Pat, thank you. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> that was just to refresh your memory for those who don't remember the story. That's why I did that um, right there. That's why I did that right there. Now, uh, on to why I'm doing this video. 
Y'all saw the mother in this news clip. Well, the mother has came and commented under one of my videos through her sister account. And um, I'll tell you exactly what she said. Uh, if I could find it, I might need to pull it up on my phone. Because a lot of people have what's their opinion about this. Uh, but all in all, this is a sad story. And I hate that the way that the young generation, here we go right here. Um, she comes to me and says, uh, Mr. Chris, this is Tia Carey's mother and the story is all wrong. It wasn't over a mail. You can contact me on Facebook for the true story. I'm just looking through the news feed on my daughter's death. This is madness. So of course I told her, Hey, you know, um, I'm glad that you reached out to me. You know, um, what's your name on Facebook? You know, all that. And we have been talking on Facebook. So guys, the reason I'm doing this is because, uh, her mother has agreed to come on to the show tomorrow. I'm going to have her on the show tomorrow and she's going to tell me and she's going to tell y'all about what we have wrong about the story. Because y'all know I did another video. Oh, uh, I read to y'all the court docs. Now, from my understanding, she said, you know, um, she don't understand how the court docs is out and there's an ongoing investigation about it. You know, I don't know how the justice system works. I just know I was able to get the court docs and I read the docs out to y'all on the live stream, you know, but you know, Hey, she says, um, she has the correction. She said it wasn't over no mail. Um, and we're going to hear from her, the mother and let her tell us, tell me and tell you what really happened, you know? Um, but one thing I will agree with what she said to me, you know, we all can speculate about what happened, but unless we was actually there, you know, there's nothing we can say. But however, though, I don't know if her mom is aware that there's somebody who actually recorded footage of her fighting with somebody else and somebody was encouraging her to fight, you know, but the dude was a bad angle on the camera that we really just didn't see anything. We just heard a lot of hollering and we heard a gunshot go off. And this man on the camera who recorded him was sitting up there talking about some, uh, y'all better get on out of here, man. Y'all better get on out of here. You just witnessed a shooting and a death, but you're trying to help the people who did it to escape. That that I don't understand, but you know, I don't know if she's aware of that or whatnot, but again, she's supposed to come on the show tomorrow and she's going to talk to me and talk to y'all about what really happened. I can't wait to have her on. Like I told y'all when I do these stories, Anybody who's in the family or in the surrounding or friends or whatever, if they want to come on and clear some stuff up, they more than welcome to. Because, hey, I can stand corrected if I'm wrong. This is what I do. This is what comes to the territory. It comes with the territory. So if there's anything I got wrong or did I say it wrong and she can't correct it, then you know, hey, I'm down for it. But most of all, I want her voice to be heard because she is the mother and she has lost a child. All right. And I think that's fair to have her voice heard. So again, regardless of what, I would never say that this young lady deserved to die. I would never say she deserved to die. All right. I don't, I would never say anybody deserved to die, you know, but we had to understand sometimes, you know, um, when you put yourself in certain situations, you know, things just turn left and I'm not condoning it. Just things just turn left, you know, but at the end of the day, far as her case goes, she didn't deserve to die. And I would never say that about this lady. She deserved to die. Anyway, guys, stay tuned tomorrow. I think we're going to do it between 12 and 1, my time, which is central. You know, I have an information she has mine, so if anything changes, you know, I will let you know. But uh, here's your update about Tia Carey. Me and her mom going to talk tomorrow, and she's going to let us know the real deal or what's going on. Amen, Chris Thorns. See you soon. Peace.